Good afternoon, everyone. It's Anika Menon from HeartHealthBrainHealth.com, encouraging healthy grieving and mindful actions. Today, my contemplative time has been all about empowering thoughts. And I thought this is a perfect time to share this with you because it happens to be what would be known as rush hour traffic in Ontario. And I suspect you might be at the end of your day. And uh, if you're in North America, you might be in the same time zone as myself, but you might be in another place. And when you hear this, you can think about the busier times on your streets too. But I want you to think about if you are in rush hour traffic, and perhaps you're listening to this then, but whenever you hear this, think about the times in rush hour traffic. And how do people feel when they're in rush hour? How do you feel when there's even in non-rush hour, if there's a traffic accident in front of you? What happens in those times? What happens in the times that are basic, but longer commute times to get to where you're trying to go to, or maybe get back home to, or that sort of idea? We notice that our thoughts are not so empowering in those times, right? So we start thinking, oh, it's going to take me longer, and I'm so tired, and it's uh, I'm going to be late, and all of those sorts of thoughts, and and I can't do anything. I'm just stuck here, right? So that sort of thinking. So I wanted to start with this first quotation, which is by Hal Enrod, and not Elrod, Hal Elrod. And the quotation says, an empowering perspective gives birth to an empowered life. An empowering perspective gives birth to an empowered life. And this is interesting, right? So today I'd like to share some empowering perspective with you to get you to think about this for just a little while. So let's say when we think of people sitting in traffic, of course, those lower energy vibrations of thoughts that are, oh boy, this is so slow and this is going to take so long and I wonder what's going to happen now. Another person might be thinking, is anyone hurt in that accident that might be up ahead there? Or many people would think, am I going to finish the work that I wanted to get done when I get home because now I'm going to be delayed? Is my partner going to be upset? Is Are the kids going to wait for me to, to tuck them in? All of those things might be going through a person's mind. And most often, what I hear most when people are stuck in rush hour traffic and speaking with me on the phone usually, um, oftentimes they'll be saying that, oh, I'm, I'm stuck in rush hour and I'm in traffic and there's just nothing. It's not even moving. It's a snail's pace. So I hear those things, right? And those are all lower vibration thoughts. They're not very empowering. Oh, another person, usually the person that's not calling me, <laughs> is going to be putting on their favorite tunes thinking about their favorite things. Maybe they're thinking about the, the dinner they're going to have and not with the, oh, what am I going to make for dinner? Because some will be thinking that, but others will be thinking, of, oh, I can't wait to get home to have this dinner that I planned or that I'm picking up or that whatever. Something more lifting, right? Some will be in the space of, um, oh, I've got to do this um, and I'm still looking forward to, I'm having a nice hot bath when I get home, you know, anything that, oh, maybe not hot today, it's really hot over here. <laughs> so maybe a nice cool bath anything that lifts someone or I'm so looking forward to a good night's sleep tonight. All of these things can be more lifting, right? Not the, oh, I don't even know if I'll be able to get to sleep tonight because I didn't sleep so well yesterday and I really need that night of sleep. And again, you'll see that one thought leads to another leads to another in the same vibrational tone. So if a person is in that, oh, I'm so late or this is so slow, there'll be a thought after a thought after a thought. So it'll be that Oh, I wonder if I've got enough gas. I wonder if I should be stopping for gas. I wonder if I'll get out in the next 10 minutes or whatever the thoughts are one after the other that are not easy thoughts. The other aspect are easy thoughts after easy thoughts of, oh, I love that song playing. I'm going to play this song now, right? So that's a playful sort of uh, easy energy. I can't wait till I tell my husband or wife this. I can't wait till I tell my kids this. I can't wait to see whoever, right? So all of that, if it's a positive thought, a positive energy thought, it'll be one after another after another. Now let's say someone is in that less empowered space and thinking the less than positive thoughts. If one can catch oneself in doing that, one can consciously make a decision to, I'm going to shift to this. I know I've got my favorite tunes in here somewhere. I'm going to play something, right? So this is a conscious decision. Or you know, I'm just going to think about the really nice thing that happened today. I'm going to think about the person that I love or whichever thing that brings a smile to the face and ease to the mind. That's empowering. The other perspective, which is the lower vibrations, 
are not empowering and more in what we would call more the victim mindset right so that like oh this always happens and mm -hmm. even when i got out half an hour early and still stuck in traffic this never works that always happens for me this place you know i really don't like that job even and it's like it was such a not easy day and all of that one thing after another after another and until a person catches their mind doing that they won't change it and you got to remember that once all of that thinking has happened that's also the energy they carry into the house and into the house same perspective we'll see things that are not right what do you mean dinner's not ready well i was just a little bit late on the road what what do you mean that i have to go pick this up what uh, whatever comes up it doesn't feel so easy right because already the mind is already primed for that energy everything seems loud the kids are too loud dinner doesn't taste great i don't even feel like eating dinner i just can't wait to get to bed oh i can't even sleep so right so all of those things continue for the rest of the day until we catch our minds doing this now empowering remember that we can do this for ourselves this is empowering what most people do is wait for something outside of ourselves to help us feel better so i feel better when the traffic starts moving it's like oh i feel so much better right or it's uh, you get home and like someone makes you laugh or makes you smile or they've made you your favorite meal and it's a nice surprise and that makes me feel better it's outside of me we have more power from within ourselves to shift ourselves and this is so important to know because we've given power away to things that are outside of ourselves. And I'll talk a little bit more about this in future videos, but today I'd love for you to sit and think about what you're thinking and what is the quality of your thoughts. Are they leaning towards the lower vibration or are they leaning towards the higher vibration? And it's only going to help your health if you lean yourself towards a higher vibration. It will help you, it will help everyone around you in traffic, and it will also help the energies of the people that you come home to see or speak with or think about when you're back home. So I'd love for you to do that for five minutes after this video. And I'd like to finish with this quotation by Marcus Aurelius. And it says, you have power over your mind, not outside events. You have power over your mind, not outside events. And so remember, it was so easy, right, to think about this in terms of traffic. Remember also that a lot of people will say, this person makes me upset, this person makes me irritated, this person hurt me, this person makes me angry, right? Power outside of ourselves. If we say, I am upset, I am angry, I am hurt, I can change this, right? I can shift my mind into more positive directions. This is, again, empowering myself. I would love for you to take your power back and remember this video to help you do so. I hope you have a fantastic evening and a fantastic uh, week ahead, too. I wish you a fantastic day, and I hope you remember transform your mind and transform your life. Have a great day, everyone.